Oh, oh man, I almost had a heart attack today's game. I almost did. I'm sure if you're, I'm sure that if you're in the arena, you probably did have a heart attack because you witnessed the Jazz have another spawn of another Jazz killer in Tyrese Maxey, who scored 51 points against the Jazz. I want to know the stats of people who have had career highs against the Jazz because I'm sure there's been a lot, and I don't know if 51 is his career high. But uh, stay. If you want to watch a time lapse of me watching this game, just stay. Towards the end, I'll put some classical music or something to me watching the Jazz games so you see how I enjoy the Jazz games when I watch them. Uh, anyway, the Jazz just played the Philadelphia 76ers. It was a kind of an ugly game, very chippy game. One of the more chippy games that we've had in a while. And it was also broadcasted on TNT, which I consider to be like the ultimate prime time for the NBA. Uh, the Jazz did put on a good show. Larry Markkinen with 28 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double. Uh, Colin Sexton with 22 points. And we had a lead with like a minute going in left or a minute 50. I can't remember, but we, we blew it. It made me kind of angry. <laughs> it's been a rainy day here in St. George, and it just made it a little more gloomy. But I don't understand why uh, maybe the defense was really good on Larry Market in the third quarter, but he had like zero points in the third quarter, then had 14 in the fourth quarter. So we could have easily had this game. Expect trades. Uh, Danny Ainge was in attendance tonight, and just I would expect trades. Don't get too attached to players over the next week. It seriously was a crazy game. I don't think we've had a crazy game like this in a while. The Jazz are two games under 500 now, sadly. I think they're half a game away from being out of the playing position. They're four and six in the last 10 games, so they're on a downhill trend. Something needs to change, especially if we want to make the play-in. I am hoping that we kind of run and gun towards a point guard. I just want a good point guard, you know. Um, Sexton has been playing great, but he's not really a point guard. Keontae George is a rookie. Chris Dunn is great. I don't know why Chris Dunn didn't play more in this game. Uh, maybe I missed something. Maybe he wasn't he wasn't reading the defense right or whatever. But uh, Larry Markkinen also got snubbed from the All Star game today. He put a All Star performance on tonight, and I think us and Kings fans can kind of bond together because Sabonis and Fox didn't make the All Star team either. I think it's interesting that the Lakers have two players, even though they're under I guess they're 500 now, but they're under 500. And then today both their All Stars weren't playing, and they dominated dominated the Celtics so the NBA I get it it's it's a business LA makes them the most money it's just us other 29 teams are kind of getting sick of it uh, we're getting really sick of the LeBron show anyway uh, rant over I really want the Jazz to make the play-in tournament but I don't if we have this same team I don't I could see the the Rockets and even the Warriors climbing up and, and gaining us and taking us from the 10th 10th seed uh, I still think that we should trade to win but also we should maybe have like one trade to add good depth to our team. And then another trade where we get like a first round pick, you know, kind of have both. But us fans, we want to see success now. The front office is probably looking down the road to like 2027, 2028. It's just uh, rebuilds are painful. Uh, so I think we're pretty blessed that we're not having a like Detroit Pistons or Spurs season right now. Some fans have different opinions about rebuilds. Uh, mine is I think teams should win, uh, should always look towards winning and shouldn't look towards tanking. And the NBA is trying to solve that problem. I couldn't tell you who's going to win the West, but I could tell you who's not. And that's definitely... <laughs> I don't think the Jazz are winning the West. There's been a lot of good games on recently, a lot of super high scoring games. Uh, so it was, I know the game tonight was pretty high scoring, but I, it felt like the defense was a little ramped up, especially in the fourth quarter, but also just NBA offense is just so good. All right, everyone, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch my time lapse, uh, that starts right now.